So what I eat in a day videos are probably some of my favorite to watch, especially when I like, get into like a rut of like food and I don't know if that happens to everybody or like you just feel like you're eating the same thing all the time. Um, so these are some of my favorite videos and now that I'm pregnant, I really like watching the pregnancy ones. Um, I think Shannon Rose posted one a while ago. Um, they're just some of my favorite videos to watch now that I'm pregnant. So here I wanted to do one of my what I eat in a day videos too to share my somewhat healthy, not always super healthy. I think today's gonna be pretty healthy. Um, what I eat in a day, I am a vegetarian. Um, so I still eat eggs and honey and stuff like that and you'll see that in the video. Those are easily swapped out like the, they have the vegan eggs or you can do like a tofu scramble or um, switch out agave, stuff like that. So it's kind of easy fixes. So it could be for a vegan. Um, but this is a vegetarian addition, um, just being forewarned. So it's not vegan, it's vegetarian. Okay, so even though I'm pregnant, I love to start out my day with coffee. Um, and it's not actually coffee, I guess. It's um, a chai tea latte. I get the skinny one so that it's less calories and doesn't you know, take up as much, um, but it has Caffeine, so 61 plus milligrams of caffeine. Um, but it's really good, so. <laughs> so this might kind of be self-explanatory, but I just add in a couple ice cubes, and then add in, a serving is, a three, is three fourths of a cup, so that's what I do. And then you get about five servings out of this. on whether or not you should drink coffee at all if you're pregnant or anything caffeinated if you're pregnant. Well, but I am a mom to a toddler, a very needy toddler, so I am definitely getting my caffeine in in the morning. Um, especially before I do my workout, I just like, I, I need it, okay? I need it. <laughs> and what I mean by like, this isn't gonna be always healthy, is I literally just propped this camera up on last night's pizza box. <laughs> so, I mean, it's not always healthy here, but we try to keep it somewhat healthy. <laughs> okay, so this is one of my favorite ways to start off breakfast, and this is pretty much my go-to breakfast, at least right now it is. Um, so this is just like a scramble, an egg scramble. Um, it's really simple, <laughs> it's really good. Um, so what I do is I take three eggs, and you can buy like just the pre-made egg whites, but they're so expensive and um, I just don't feel like wasting my money on doing that when I can easily just separate an egg right here. We'll come over here and get our heat, our pan heated up. I set it at a little bit over medium low. Um, so I'm just gonna let that heat up for a second. Give a nice little coat to the pan. Then while that's heating up, I go in with some of these. These are just powder greens from um, Kroger's. It just has, it says it's a variety mix of baby spinach, chard, kale, and whatever that word is. somewhat wilted down, I'm gonna go in and add some canned diced tomatoes, and I just added like a decent amount in there. Just enough to your liking. Just a simple, easy egg scramble. Um, was nice and healthy. Got some protein in there, um, and and then most mornings, if I am like extra hungry or if I'm gonna do like an extra like strenuous workout, 
Um, I'll add in a lunchbox size apple and I'll cut up an apple and have some peanut butter with that. Um, and I'll eat that along with the scr scramble. But I had some pizza last night and I'm pretty stuffed still. So I'm just gonna eat this so that I have some energy for my workout. So we're at Target running a few errands and I just brought um, some hummus crackers. Just really quick, it's kind of, again, not like the healthiest because obviously ideally you'd wanna like bring like, um, eat hummus with like chopped up veggies or whatever, but it works when you're on the run. These are really convenient and they were on sale for a dollar. All right, so it's kind of late, but I'm gonna make a quick little lunch. Um, I'm just gonna make a kale salad. Um, it's rather, it's gonna be rather empty kale salad because I don't really have anything to put in. Pretty much all the ingredients. We've got a bag of kale. It's already like pre-chopped and washed, obviously. That's just kind of because I'm lazy. Um, some red kidney beans, or really any beans of your choice. Um, a red onion, a lemon, I only use one, I only, like, I, if I get a lemon, I can cut it up and use it for four different salads, because I only use um, one fourth of it for each um, salad I make. And then some olive oil, and some honey, and did I already say salt and pepper? Salt and pepper. This is kind of like the makeshift dressing. So the olive oil, the salt and pepper, and the honey. Um, just like a good little drizzle of honey. Like I said, if you were vegan, you could just switch it out for agave. And then like I said, normally if you want to kind of beef it up a little bit, you can add in some, um, some quinoa, that's really good. Some rice, the other day I made, um, I had leftover um, long grain and wild rice, rice aroni, and I added that into there and it was good. Um, you can also add in a hard boiled egg, or um, if you buy like those soy protein like chicken, like the fake chicken, and you have some of those, you can get like the morning star, you could add in some chicken strips. Um, it's really kind of just up to you, make it your, make it your own. Um, one skillet meal starter it was like only a dollar so I just thought I'd grab it um, the meal starter is for a southwestern chicken brown rice and quinoa meal um, and obviously I don't eat chicken so instead I'm gonna be making this but I'm gonna be changing it up just a little bit so instead of chicken I'm going to be using something called tempeh all right so first things first I'm gonna prep all my stuff so I'm gonna cut up my peppers and my tempeh. And then, this is how I'm gonna prepare this today. I am literally just going to cut it into strips. Just like that. Not too thin, not too thick. Just enough. It might be better to cube it for this recipe, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. All right, so I'm gonna go back around and just do three or two, yeah, let's just do two. Cut it up into threes. So now you've got little pieces like, yay big. By the end of the day, my pants start getting tight on me, and like I can't tell if it's a bump or if it's just my fat, or <laughs> I can't quite tell. Your chicken butt. <laughs> it kind of looks like a little bump, maybe. I don't know. Riley's panties on the floor. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think, Riley? Is that a baby bump, or is that just fat? Is that just food from too much eating? Too many kale chips. 
What do you think? Yeah. I don't know. It looks big from up here. All right. So there it is in all its glory. It looks good. It smells good. Kind of spicy. Um, not like too spicy. It's got like some nice spice. Jake said it smells like tacos. So. All right. So I figured since the rest of the food that I made today, I know it tastes good. So I can actually like say like this is what I eat in a day. Um, I don't know what this tastes like. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a test on camera to see if it's even any good. All right, I'm gonna make sure I get a piece of the tempeh and a piece of the bell pepper. All right, here we go. Hmm, I like it, it's good. <laughs> I said it was kind of healthy. You know what? I'm pregnant. I have to have something sometimes. This is my ice cream bowl creation of Butterfingers and Reese's. <laughs> so aside from this, I think today has been pretty okay. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much what I eat in a day. I use that salad a lot and that breakfast a lot. Um, sometimes my dinner, you know, my dinner varies. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much a typical what I eat in a day um, as of right now, of this phase of my life. Um, so yeah, minus the ice cream, of course. But um, So I'm gonna go sit down and enjoy my ice cream and that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna eat anything else. So I guess that's it for this video. Um, thanks so much for watching and bye.